Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna change things up with a photo pop quiz, as I want you to identify the different types of oxygen masks used in a hospital setting. So I'll show you the oxygen mask for about 10 seconds, and shortly after, I will identify the type of oxygen mask that was shown with a quick review. However, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. Beginning with photo number one, take a look. The answer is nasal cannula. Your nasal cannula provides oxygen through two soft prongs that are inserted into your patient's nares. It is set at one to six liters per minute. Anything greater than four liters per minute should be used with a humidifier. Here is the key point. Many nasal cannulas have an inserted end tidal CO2 detector. This is for your patient that is at risk for retaining CO2. So some reasons a nasal cannula with a CO2 detector will be used are for your patients that one, just had surgery or a procedure that required use of anesthesia, or for your patient that suffers from a lot of pain, typically they're followed by pain management and require a PCA, which is a patient-controlled analgesia such as Dilaudid. So these types of narcotics can depress your respiratory system, so it's crucial to monitor the patient's CO2 parameters along with the oxygen saturation. Another example is using a PCEA, which is a patient controlled epidural analgesia. Let's move on to photo number two. Take a look. This is a simple mask. This mask fits over the mouth and nose and has holes on the sides known as exhalation ports to prevent suffocation. So the range of oxygen varies from 40 to 60%. 40% is about five liters per minute. 55 to 60% is about eight liters per minute. This is commonly used with patients post-surgery or from a rapid response known as RRT, um, meaning this is a quick change in status of your patient requiring immediate attention at the bedside. So here's a key nursing point regarding your FiO2. So FiO2 is a fraction of inspired oxygen and gas mixture at room air that is delivered as a percentage that equals a percentage of about 21% FiO2. So as the FiO2 increases with oxygen, the liters per minute increases as shown in the photo. Be sure to take a snapshot to keep as a reference tool. Okay, let's move on to photo number three. Here is a hint, there are no flaps on the sides. The answer is partial rebreather. This mask delivers 60 to 75% FiO2 that equates to six to 11 liters per minute. This face mask covers the mouth and nose and has a reservoir bag that is inflated with no flaps on the sides. So the patient will rebreathe one third of exhaled air of tidal volume. One key point that you always want to make sure is that the reservoir bag is inflated and can be adjusted with the flow rate to meet the patient's oxygen demand. Also, the bag is at risk of kinking and at risk of obstructing airflow. So educate patient and family to keep free of kinks. Moving on to photo number four, take a look. Here is a hint before you decide on your answer. The exhalation ports have a flap over on each side. The answer is non-rebreather. This mask covers the mouth and nose and delivers about 10 to 15 liters per minute, which contains a reservoir bag with exhalation ports that have a flap over each port to prevent room air from entering that could dilute oxygen concentration. This is why it is so crucial to make sure the ports are contained within. This allows the patient to receive the right amount of oxygen from the reservoir bag. All right, let's move on to photo number five. The answer is high flow nasal cannula. Your high flow nasal cannula can be referred to as vapotherm, 
comfort flow that can deliver oxygen up to a rate of eight liters per minute for your infant and based on weight it can deliver up to 60 liters per minute in children and adults but be sure to follow your hospital protocol guidelines to support the patient's oxygen demand all right let's move on to photo number six The answer is a Venturi mask. This is a high flow oxygen mask that provides an exact FiO2 that ranges from 24 to 50%. This mask contains an aerosol mask with a flexible tubing oxygen line that will connect to the flow meter and a fixed orifice device with a variety of about like six different colors and can be based on manufacturer. Each color provides a different flow rate. The flow rate will be listed on the adapter of the colored orifice. It also has a clear plastic cap that attaches to the fixed orifice as a safety guard to prevent obstruction events. Moving on to photo number seven. The answer is trach collar mask. This is a mask that covers the tracheostomy and gently lies over and is secured with an elastic band that is adjustable for the patient fitting loosely over to allow adequate oxygen delivered to support the patient's needs. All right, this wraps up our pop quiz. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.